What's up guys, Justin here with thecgessentials.com. So one of the things I really like about this channel is being able to highlight free resources that can make your life easier. In today's video, we're gonna highlight a free tool that helps you set up different fabrics for use inside a blender. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so the tool that we're taking a look at is the textile generator from Outgang Studio. And basically what this is, is this is a tool that's built on top of a substance player. And what you can do is you can basically use it in order to create customized different fabrics to use inside of really any program, but specifically we're focusing on Blender obviously on this channel. But um, Outgang Studio is a studio that basically has a ton of great uh, tutorials for characters and then also like working with clothes and other things like that. So um, they are way out of my league when it comes to like character type stuff. So if that's something that you're into, they're definitely worth a follow. Um, but basically you can access this by going to their homepage and then just entering your email address down below um, and you'll get a version of the textile generator. Note that the free version exports textures up to a resolution of 512 by 512 and then the pro version is going to export textures up to 8192 by 8192. And so they have an excellent tutorial on their YouTube channel, which I'll also link to in the notes down below that talks you through how to use this tool. But let's go ahead and let's download it and give it a try. Okay, and so to edit these materials, um, this is basically a Substance 3D material. And so what you can do is you can download the free Substance player and load that on your computer in order to open up the SBSAR file that comes along with this. So you can download that from Adobe's website. I'll link to it in the notes down below. But basically the way that it works is you open up that substance file and within here, you're going to have a window where you can adjust things about the materials over here on the right hand side, as well as seeing a preview of what's being created over here on the left hand side. Now, I will be the first to tell you that I am not um, a textile expert or a fabric expert or a character expert. Um, that's really not my area of expertise, but um, I do understand enough to kind of show you some of the basics over here. So for example, you've got a number of different presets in here. So you've got options for uh, materials like linen as well as materials like denim. Um, so if you want like that jean look, um, you've got a denim preset, you've also got a silk, you've got a polyester, um, you've got a satin, and then you've got a cotton. Notice how each one of these, basically what it's doing is it's generating, basically it's generating the number of threads that are in here for your material, just like this. So this could be great for like sofas or really anything that has those textile textures. And then over here on the right hand side of the page, you've got options for things like adjusting the number of threads in here, right? So if you bring that thread density down, um, notice how this is going to look very different than if you have a super high thread density in here. So you can use the slider in order to adjust that. You've also got the ability to adjust things like the directions of those threads as well as the colors, right? So you've got options for the weft and the warp, which really I think just means like the up and down and then the left and right of these, but notice how you can adjust like numbers of threads in here in order to get those different looks. So notice how this looks different depending on the number of threads you have in your material. Um, but then we've also got the options down below to adjust things like the color of both the weft and the warp. So if I was to come in here and adjust this, right, notice how I can adjust this so that it's got like red threads in here going one direction, and then you could adjust it so that you've got blue going in another direction or really any color that you want, right? Um, and that's kind of the power of this tool is it allows you to really kind of make those adjustments on these threads and get the different looks that you're going for in here. So a ton of different things that you can adjust. I'm not gonna get way into a lot of these, um, partially because some of the technical terms are things that I don't fully understand. But one of the cool things about this is you can export these to Blender. So in order to do that, you can do an export, export as bitmap, and then you can just pick the location that you want this and all of the different output outputs to export. So um, you can export the albedo, the normal, um, the ambient occlusion. So the, the maps that we're pretty much familiar with. And then you can bring those into Blender. And so notice how we're gonna have a drop down in here to set the uh, format of the exports that we're going to create. But 
Um, so that's one way to do this. The other way to do this, so you can come in here and just uh, import these just like as a normal material and then come in here and adjust them um, using your principal BSDF as well as adjusting things like the scale, other things like that. Um, so you can do that that way or um, the way that I kind of recommend is actually using the Blender Substance add-on. So you can download that Substance add-on and you're gonna wanna make sure that you set up both that add-on as well as the integration tool. Um, and I'll link to this in the notes down below. And once you do that, you can actually edit those, uh, those Substance files directly inside of Blender. So for example, all I did is I just found that SBSAR file um, and I loaded that in here. Well, notice how down below that gives me the ability to make basically those same adjustments um, inside a blender that I was making inside of the substance player. So the substance player is good for setting these up visually over here. Um, so there's definitely some value in this, but if you do wanna work with these directly in blender, you can definitely do that, right? So notice how I can still adjust things like the density of the threads. Um, so when I make that adjustment, notice how this is gonna change in here. You can adjust um, basically everything that you could elsewhere, right? So you can turn like your wrinkles on and off. Um, you can set your height noise on and off and you can adjust those colors, right? So if I wanted this to be more of like a blue color, notice how that's gonna come in here and that's going to make that adjustment. And say I wanted this to be a different blue color, notice how you can make that change. And notice how that really changes the way that these materials look inside of Blender. All right, so I will link to this tool in the notes down below, as well as all the other resources I talked about in this video, but leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about this tool. If you're creating your own textile materials, I just love having that conversation with you guys. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.